There's some interesting videos coming out at the moment. The first one is a, um, is a, is a record of a meeting held in Denmark uh, by friends of hostages who've been taken, who were seized on the 7th of October in the uh, terrorist attack by Hamas uh, when they invaded uh, Kibbutzim near the south of the Gaza Strip and seized hostages killed, Israelis, and so on. Uh, they're making it very clear that the priority must be to release the, to save the hostages, rather than this uh, belligerent policy that Netanyahu seems set on to uh, assuage his guilt and to establish himself as the leader of his country in a sort of second wave of independence, a new Ben-Gurion. I don't think even that effort, even that intended effort, is going to work for him because he is smeared with years of indifference towards the Gaza Strip and, um, and a rejection of the Oslo peace process. It's in the Likud um, Foundation documents anyway the, to support the settlers and to reject the um, Palestine solution. So that, that needs to change. Anyway, listen to what the uh, people in this video are saying. Imagine being at home, okay, seeing all the stuff you see on the news, like for four hours, uh, missiles, and you see terrorists in, the, uh, in Israel, and you don't understand really what's happening. Then you see the live location of your friend going into Gaza, which is obviously very disturbing. We stay in our country and we live in our country because we believe in our country. We believe that we can, they can do uh, whatever it takes. Our, our mission and our first uh, saying is that we want the hostages to be released to be the top priority. Not just the priority of the war, just the top priority. This is what we want, and this is what we're here to represent for. One of the reasons that we came here to speak with you and to speak all over the world to just try to get to reach any information in any channel, you know, crossroad or, or, or relationships or, or I don't know what. If anybody know any information. We will glad to to have it. I now have a look at the another video which has turned up in Turkish media, which may or may not be authentic. I don't know, but it betrays a uh, an, an extreme view um, that is very worrying and is certainly is certainly not um, not impossible. Uh, I, I think it's I think it's the minority. If, it, if it's authentic. But as I say, it is extremely worrying. And no, notice here the subversion of the expression from the river to the sea, which certainly was a slogan that was adopted for a short period uh, after the foundation of the Likud party. And remember, it's Benjamin Netanyahu, who is the leader of the Likud party. And uh, this is something that was founded by Menachem Begin in the at the end of the last century, and has been solidly in power, um, really ever since. Even he, 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 even Naftali Bennett, though he wasn't uh, at that time a member of the Likud Party, was a member of a sort of proto Likud Party that was just um, more extreme, indeed, maybe even than Likud. And uh, th 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 as I say, this is worrying um, video which has surfaced on Twitter. And uh, have, have a look at it, see what you think. Uh, as, I say, I, um, as the BBC would say, I cannot verify it. I, I'm very suspicious about it, but it is there. Big moment of my service to Israeli army because right now we're going to make history. From the Jordan River to the Middle East, that's all ours. It was promised to us. There's no Palestinian nation. No one wants them. So why we? 
good. I think they, they should have a lot more of the bombing. The bombarding is a fight between the good and the bad, the good and the evil. Only innocent people that are in Gaza now are the 229 hostages that were taken. Once they will go back to Israel, we will pop. Shifa Hospital, all the hospitals, all the tunnels and kill them all. It's about time. The world knows that. There's no argue about that. We are the center of the world now. So my heartfelt hope is that the former campaign to put the hostages as a priority will be the one that wins the day. Because in the end, Netanyahu is going to have to negotiate with Hamas, is going to have to negotiate with the Palestinians and what, how, however successful, however unsuccessful his military campaign is, uh, the end result is negotiations. And the end result must be not a, um, not a stagnation, um, not, a, not a shelving of the process, but a new peace. That is the end result.